My husband and I are gonna show you how we did this DIY shoe rack without killing each other. You might remember about, I don't know, 10 months ago, Eddie and I did a DIY project where we made this wood plank wall. And this week we're making this shoe rack with a design that's been in my head. And you're gonna see all of the steps that we took to get the shoe rack done and finished <laughs> without trying to kill each other. We didn't kill each other. No, but we didn't get along either. <laughs> Hmm. I have control issues. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> First, we used a one inch by 12 inch, eight foot long piece of wood for the base of the shoe rack. Then we used a one inch by one inch piece that was eight feet long for the heel hooks. Then a piece of quarter round, eight feet long. One two by four cut into five pieces. 10 number eight, two inch wood screws. One circular saw and one drill, cordless preferably. One package of one inch brad nails and a nail gun, cordless preferably. One bottle of Type-On original wood glue. One 16 foot measuring tape. Safety first with these safety glasses, respirator and heavy duty gloves. Next, you'll need a container full of propane gas, fire starter, and a roofing torch. Two horses to stabilize your project and work on, and one little helper right there. And that's all you're gonna need for this DIY project. So let's get started. So these pieces are six inches tall, and that's the measurement we're gonna be using to give us the slope on our shoe rack. I'll be honest, I made a full on attempt to um, saw and I've, I'm admitting defeat. I'm not good at sawing, and I'm no longer going to saw because I'm going to allow him to do it. He already tried to fix it before I got a shot of it, but I needed you to see. <laughs> I hate asking for help. I can't stand it. You see this nightmare? This was the pre-cut piece for, that Eddie did. This is the piece that I did. <laughs> Thank you for sawing my wood for me. <laughs> All right, so the next step is to sand. <laughs> and again, <laughs> who's sanding? <laughs> Not me! <laughs> I guess I'm gonna just go ahead and take the shoes out of the closet and then we're gonna show you how we put this, this thing together because it really isn't that hard to do. And uh, Eddie, you can have your glasses back because obviously I'm not doing any of this. <laughs> All right, the shoes are done. And now that they're done, let's go ahead and check to see how Eddie's doing with uh, cutting those pieces for the shoe rack to make it at an angle since I did such a crummy job. <laughs> So I went ahead and measured this out. Uh, we figured five studs is gonna be enough for this instead of the eight that I cut out. Um, we figured out, he figured out. <laughs> so what I did is I went a quarter inch all the way down from the uh, edge of it. And then we brought it about f a foot and three quarters. We, he. <laughs> a foot and three quarters. So we have five studs that are gonna be sitting there uh, perfectly. This is a little bit of an odd way of uh, drilling these holes or pre-drilling these holes. So I'm kind of, what I ended up having to do is mark out the spots where they're at right there. Then what we're doing is uh, we can move it down to the quarter and I can see it underneath. There is no we, it's he. We'll start pre-drilling the holes one and a quarter down and two and a quarter down. So that, so that, that way, uh, when we put in the screws later, we rebuild this uh, and put it all together, it will make sense. So also what I did is I numbered the studs. I start from this side, one, two, three, four, five. So that way when I go back and after I've pre-drilled and I go back to put this together, I know what screws or which stud goes to which, which holes. You're my number one stud. <laughs> I broke it. I did, good job though. What do you think you're doing? We're gonna burn the wood. <laughs> I'm not letting you burn the wood. 
I'm burning it. We did it the last time. Uh, yeah, I did it last time. No, I got to burn some wood and I'm burning this. You're not doing this whole thing by yourself. I'm doing this. Okay, here comes my favorite part. So instead of staining the wood like most people would do that we did with the previous video that we had done, which was burn the wood, it makes it look like it was stained and it really brings out the green in the wood. I like it because I get to use fire. Eddie doesn't like it because I get to use fire, but it's the one thing that he's going to allow me to do, which is burn wood. So here we go. this look and we could leave it just like this the problem is is that if you touch it it's gonna leave soot on your hands and you don't want that on your shoes walking through the house but what you can do is that you just kind of take a little bit of water you know just like about half water half paint and what you do is you take a rag and you start rubbing it across here and it will still leave that nice wood grain that stain look but it kind of gives it that old uh, rustic look that everybody likes right now super easy some gloves and um, a paintbrush if you want to, but we are going to use rags. All right, before I wipe it off completely, um, I just wanted to show that really you could use any kind of paint. I just don't use flat. I kind of use satin. What? It usually says let it sit for two minutes. <laughs> Well, we didn't do that the last time. We just let it kind of absorb a little bit when it looked a little little dry to me. I didn't want it to um, get sticky, so I went ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off right now. So we can just go ahead and wipe that off and you'll be able to see that wood grain. So it kind of almost gives it like that beach rustic look. And if we would let it dry for two minutes, it would have soaked completely in. So I'm glad we didn't do that. All right, so this is what it looks like now. And I'm gonna put it out in the sun to dry because I'm impatient. All right, let's put it out in the sun. It's dry. <laughs> so what am I doing? So remember these that we set up today, earlier today, and we put the numbers on them? Oh yeah, so we did this. So we put the numbers in and now we're gonna drill these legs in here. Cause Back that's to what's it. gonna support the bottom of these. Yep. All right, well, let's get drilling. Can I drill? You're drilling. I'm allowed to drill. You're drilling. <laughs> Yay, I'm allowed to do something. All right, um, and then what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on it. Um, okay. So it sets in there nicely and then you'll drill it. Okay. Just create a tighter bond. I got a little carried away with the, the screwdriver and now that's all the way a little in the wood, but it's going in a closet. No one's gonna see it. I mean, I guess I could put some wood filler over that and, and like kind of stain it up or whatever, but a blind man on a horse will never see it is what my dad would say. All right, so we have this like angled board, but it's kind of ugly. So we need to add some finishes because there's like a lip here, which I don't like. And there's a lip at the bottom, which I don't like. And we need something to, to hang the heels of the shoes on. So that's gonna cover up my messy screwing job right here. So we're gonna, we're gonna fix this and make this a lot prettier. Next, I take the glue and I'm gonna run it along here. And then we're gonna use the nail gun and Eddie promised I could use it. And I can put um, this little piece and that's the piece that's gonna hang your heels. So here, you're gonna nail here and here. Oh, okay. So the opposite side of the screws? So you're, the screw should be right here. Right, the opposite so side of each screw. To get, you wanna to try to get as close to the screw, but not right on the screw. <laughs> there you go. When having a project with your spouse, make sure you draw out all your plans. Tell them exactly what you want because by the time that you start putting this together, it's going to start war. Because guess what? Even I forgot. We still have one more piece. <laughs> that piece right there, it's for the rounded top because I wanted it to have like a decorative corner. Yeah, we're gonna have to reburn that. We're gonna have to paint it. We're gonna have to wait 10 minutes and then we're gonna nail that in there too. That's it, that's the last of it. We have done the trim piece and we have done the uh, the piece that you put on your yep. heels. So it's time to go in the closet and hopefully I like it. If I don't, then it's my own fault. <laughs> <Or mine. laughs>
Since this isn't gonna be attached to the wall, I decided that it would be a good idea to put some felt at the bottom so that way it doesn't scratch my wood floors. And so we just bought this little thing of felt that we got at Home Depot. No, we got it at Lowe's. We got it at Lowe's. So you, you can buy it at Home Depot too or any hardware store. And it's got like the sticky state tape on the back side and then it has the felt on the other side. So we're just gonna stick that on each one of these legs. Well, we're still married and we got through it. Still. <laughs> and after we got it all done, before the comments even start, I want you to know that we realized there isn't another little piece at the bottom for shoes that don't have a heel, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure they're gonna rip me apart throughout the whole thing. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed our DIY project. We're gonna be doing some more DIY projects in the future, so make sure that you subscribe. If you wanna watch our last video that we did with a DIY plank, you can go ahead and click the video right here. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe by clicking the icon right here, and give Eddie a good old thumbs up because he did a great job without killing me.